let's make this really cute chicken feed bag. Get ready. We're using Inktense pencils and a fabric marking pen, drawing and writing straight on this little muslin bag to make the cutest little favor bag or treat bag. Let's get going. I've got a piece of mat board here. I'm just going to cut it so that it will slip inside the bag. That just protects both sides. Nope, oh, didn't get it quite narrow enough. There we go. I'm using an Arteza permanent fabric marker to draw my little chicken on here. This is just a doodle. We're not, we're not worried about making beautiful, perfect pieces of artwork. We're doing a fun little chicken feed bag. It would be so cute for a kid's birthday or, uh, you know, for a, a wedding reception. So my little chicken, this one, the little head's going to start up here and then it's going to come down and come up to the tail and around. I'm going to stop before I get all the way to the top so that way I can put a little waddle and then the beak and then another little waddle. There's the comb on the top of the head and then a cute little eye. Doesn't have to be really detailed here guys. This is, you know, a treat bag. She's got her little feathers for her wing. Some feathers coming down her chest. And maybe a few little feathers coming off the tail. Look at that. Cute little doodly uh, and I am going to go ahead in my <laughs> in my handwriting I'm just going to write uh, chicken feed chicken feed there we go to color it, I'm going to be using the Inktense pencils. We're going to use the Inktense pencils. So I'm going to grab this kind of red color for her waddle. And then I think I want a blue and maybe a brownish color and an orangey color. Oh, the dark blue is right here under my hands. Deep indigo. I'm using this uh, Jarlink pencil sharpener. They don't have the rechargeable one anymore. So I'm just praying that this keeps working for me for a long time because I love it. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and get in here and color, the waddle, and the comb. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of this red around the eye, like that. Then I'm going to grab this brown, and I'm going to just leave space This is coming down the chest. Kind of like that. And I'm going to come down here on the legs a little bit. I'm going to put the orange on the beak and just put a little indication of orange down here on the feet. 
And even though the orange is on the beak, I'm going to put some orange in the feathers. Just because I want some variation of tone and color. Maybe a little bit of this orange underneath. See, I'm holding the fabric with my fingers to kind of tighten it up so that it will, so that it doesn't move around so much. I'm going to grab that deep indigo and put a few little strikes of that in. Now, indigo with orange is going to make a brownish tone when I put water on it. And if you notice, I am not going in and getting too, too detailed here. I'm going around the, the wing right here, and I'm going to come down here along the bottom of the belly and under the tail just a little bit. And then under the waddle like that. little bit around the shoulder, maybe. I'm not worried about this, like I said, being, being perfect. I'm gonna drop a little bit of this bright blue in. This is a fantasy chicken. I'm kind of in a, in a real chicken phase right now. I've got a second channel that I do videos on and I just posted two different videos on how to knit chickens those lovely emotional support chickens but I do it the easy way with my circular knitting machine now doing it like this I am coloring I am putting texture down on I do not expect all of this to disappear a bit up there and maybe a spot in the in that now I'm going to grab a brush and these are the Artify water watercolor gouache acrylic oil you know nylon brushes uh, they are not expensive so I'm just going to grab I think a this is just a flat half inch and around number whatever that is that I just pulled out. Now, some people use a fabric medium to do this. I have fabric medium. I didn't bring it out with me. So I'm doing it the quick and easy way and just using a brush and water. These are not something that I plan on washing a lot. If you were planning on washing it, I would definitely go ahead and Go ahead and get the fabric medium. It does change the texture of your paper a little bit or the fabric a little bit. All right, just got those wet. Now I'm gonna come down here on the feathers. And I'm gonna do this sort of patchworky. I'm gonna come along and get my blue feathers and sort of ignore the orange for a minute. We've got the, oh, look at that bright blue. Let's see, maybe. Like that. Up underneath. That indigo is a very dark, almost Payne's gray um, type of color. The bright blue is a lovely bright blue. I'm leaving some white here and there. I'm not coloring it all in. I'm letting some of the fabric show. Oh, come back here and get the, the end of that wing there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, hit that orange. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We'll see how the bit, when they dry.
Oh, that's fun. Now I've got this kind of darker color on my brush. You know, I've picked up some of that color. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that on the ground underneath of this fun little chicken. You can transfer. You don't have to you don't have to color with the pencil the whole time. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that orange and my brush and see if I can, oh, I can. Flick a little bit of that orange on here, spark it up just a little. And maybe brown. See if that goes. Yeah, the orange was much more satisfying. Let's see if I, oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna let this dry and I'll come back. This is what it looks like after it's all dry. Pretty cool. It did lose some of that brilliant vibrance, but I actually like it better this way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends. Remember that we use the Inktense pencils, just a couple watercolor brushes, a little bit of water, a muslin bag, and the Arteza fabric marking pen. We'll see you around here again soon. Remember, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. Bye-bye.